Hello and welcome. It's Madeline. Thanks for joining me today. And today I want to talk to you about mitigating and maybe embracing uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty in the world today. Companies are closing or facing financial difficulties. People are losing their jobs. When you watch the news, world events are scary and frightening. And it seems that folks are fearful for what the future holds. And today I'd like to hopefully give you some tools to help you mitigate that uncertainty. So I have five steps for you for mitigating uncertainty, and they actually all fall under one umbrella of a step, which is to focus on what you can control. Okay. So, and what can we control? So the only thing, I know you think a lot of things are under your control, but really the only things that we can control in this world are our thoughts, our words, and our actions. And outside of that, really not so much control. So our thoughts, our words, and our actions are really the only things that we can control. So within that framework, what can we do? to mitigate, mitigate uncertainty. So the first one is to, can you guess? Meditate, right? So, cause meditation is going to help you with the other four items on the list. So the first one is to meditate daily, preferably twice a day, if you want to be a rock star and super fabulous, um, but meditate, have a regular meditation practice, whatever that means for you. And okay, so that's number one. Number two is always do your best, whatever it is. So at, at work, at home, when you're out and about in society, in the community, always do your best, always be your best. When you put out that good and positive energy, you can expect that goodness to come back to you. Okay, um, don't use, to continue with that, don't use negative speech. So if you're in a company, uh, if you're at work and your company is having difficulties perhaps or having some kind of issue, don't participate in the rumor mill. Don't participate in gossip. Um, you know that a lot of that is probably hearsay and participating in that kind of communication, gossip and rumor mills and hearsay and stuff really isn't good for you. It's only going to freak you out and it's not a good use of your energy. And you can save that energy for something that's more useful. Okay. Um, have faith that if you do good things, you don't use negative speech, um, that you always do your best, that you can expect good things to come back to you. That if you put out good things, good things will come back to you. That's how karma works. Karma all, often gets a bad rap, but it's only bad if you are. If it's good, then you have good karma and um, you get what you give in general. And lastly, the fourth item, uh, the fifth item is to be present. So whenever you find yourself um, maybe participating in that negative speech or your mind is wandering down the what if, the scary what if road, what if this happens, what if that happens. Um, I'm not going to give you scary scenarios to freak you out, but you know what they are. Um, if you have a regular meditation practice, then you will notice when you're having thoughts that don't serve you and you can come back to your breath. Your breath is always an excellent tool to bring you back into the present moment. So whenever your mind or your activity is in something that doesn't serve you, going down a road that you know that doesn't serve you, doesn't serve anyone, you'll notice it. If you have a regular meditation practice, you'll be aware enough to notice, oh, these thoughts don't really serve me. This conversation perhaps doesn't really serve me. Take a moment, connect with your breath. Just notice the inflow and the outflow of your breath in and out through the nose for a few seconds, 16 seconds, or um, a couple of minutes, and then refocus 
your energies and your attention on something that is more useful. And if you follow these five steps, then the unknown isn't so scary because you're putting out good energy and then you can be pretty comfortable in expecting good things to come back your way. So there you have it. Five steps for mitigating uncertainty, which all fall under the focus on what you can control, right? So we're going to meditate. Always do your best. Don't participate in negative speech. Have faith and be present. I hope this serves you. I look forward to seeing you again, but until then, I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.